Uh, Wall Street's October winning streak continues. The Dow Jones Industrials gained another 105 points on Monday. Yeah, in just three weeks, the Dow has gained back everything it lost in August and September. CBS News Business and Economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis here with more on the markets this morning. Rebecca, good to see you this hey, morning. Good to see you too. Let's put it in context. What type of roll is Wall Street on right now, and where is it all coming from? Well, it's on a pretty significant roll right now, and we're actually seeing the biggest point gain in the Dow for a month ever on record. Now, that said, there's a couple more days left in October, and we know from these manic markets that really anything can happen here. But what's been driving this momentum at this point is that we've come away, we've backed away from that Armageddon cliff scenario. We're not standing on the edge of a cliff. According to a number of analysts, we're not looking down the barrel of another recession. That said, that's what primarily analysts are saying. It's not what every analyst is saying right now. But there are some stronger stories out there. Caterpillar, for example, biggest construction and mining company in the world, just came out with very strong earnings. And that shows underlying that there's some growth in the economy. Which is a good thing. So, so then what should we be watching moving forward here to see what's actually going to happen? There are a couple of big question marks. Number one, the budget battle. We know that lawmakers have to come back together late in November and Bank of America Merrill Lynch says that if they don't get things done and if the $1.2 trillion in spending cuts, the automatic spending cuts go into place, that could certainly have an impact on our growth and we could see another downgrade from either Moody's or Fitch of our American U.S. debt. Also, Europe, obviously a big thing. Yeah, talk about Europe real quickly for us, because we talk about Greeks' debt problems uh, over and over, week after week. But how much are their problems tied to our problems and vice versa? Well, it's very important to remember, in the U.S., we get about 20 to 25 percent of our profits, the big American companies do, from Europe. So Europe is a component here. If Europe heads into a recession, and some people do also think that could happen, it would certainly impact the United States going forward. So nobody is waving the flag right now saying, we've made it through the storm. A lot of people are still watching. Thanks, guys.